Cause I've been busy, I've been busy. What's up guys, my name's Noah and you are watching The Productive Producer. Today's video is about arrangement. We're gonna be talking about song structure. Once you understand where to put things and which section belongs where, it really just makes the whole process so much easier and when you start with that idea, that one loop, you're able to extrapolate that into a full song much faster and get more songs done. Because the more songs you make, the better producer you become. And that's what I wanna do for you. I wanna help you become a better producer. So before we get into this video, click like on this video. And don't forget to subscribe. You don't have to click the little bell icon because you know when I upload videos. I upload videos every single Friday, like clockwork, it will be there. So let's take a look at a track that I made a little while back for, for the Out of the Loop series, and we'll go through the structure and how to arrange it. So let's, let's take a look at that. So here's the track. And you can kind of see right now that there are identical sections here. That we have this section and this one, right? Can you guess what those are? Those are the drops, right? Those are the biggest drums. That's where everything comes together. Notice one other thing too. Ableton has these color-coded sections here. As you zoom in, they break apart into, into smaller sections there. But they are identifiers for a certain quantity of bars. So right here, this is a 16 bar section right there. You can see we have one 16 bar section there, one 16 bar section there, one 16 bar section there. So one thing I espouse to everybody that I work with and my friends who are producers and, and also my friends who hit me up who need some production help is if you have an idea, if you've got the general idea down, you know, all of us producers, we have no problem coming up with new ideas, right? If you got that idea, figure out where it belongs in the song. A song basically has those general ideas repeated several times throughout the process. So when you make one section, it doesn't mean you have to make the rest of the sections. You made one section, chances are part of that, or at least most of it, is going to repeat elsewhere. So in the, in the case of the drop, what I could do here is I could click from the top, and then I'm going to click down here on this on this send or this return channel, and that will select everything in that section. And then I can go here, press Command C, and then Command V, and it'll paste it right over the top. The general idea is to repurpose as much as you can. But what does that have to do with structure? Building the structure of your track is really depending on where you start, right? So here, you can kind of think of most, most all EDM songs have a sort of like a Golden Gate Bridge structure, I meaning they have an intro, and then a buildup, and then the drop, and then they have a breakdown, and then a buildup, and then another drop, and then an outro. So you could sort of think of it in those, in those respects. Like these are the two pillars, right? The two drops are the pillars. That's where the main idea is. So whether you start from the beginning with the intro or you start with the drops, you kind of know where you're at. You can kind of gauge like, okay, I've got the drop here. Now I know I need to put the drop over there because there's going to be some space in between that, that I got to fill. Or if you start with the intro, you're like, okay, well, I started with the intro and you can notice right over here, it's pretty much the same for the outro. So you can, re you can repurpose some of that stuff over here at the end and sort of just sort of just lay the foundation like it doesn't have to be exactly the same it could be the idea could change over time it could end completely differently but building that foundation is the key to EDM structure and arrangement if more producers implemented this and didn't and didn't focus so much on just perfecting a one small little section of a song they'd get a lot more music done and they would end up making a lot more music and getting a lot better at it. I will keep this video short today, guys. I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to harp on this too much. I think structuring your song as you're making it is going to be super important. Once you're, once you're like, all right, I've got the general idea down, paste it elsewhere. And like, I mean, stuff, stuff that you can copy. Like I always do this with the buildup because the buildup is pretty much the same on, on both sides. And if I, if I want to make changes to it, I can, I can, you know, tweak this or tweak that, but getting the general idea, the guts of it all laid out is going to be the most helpful structure tip that I can give you. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please click like on it 
and subscribe so you, the algorithm knows that you like watching my videos. I'll be back next Friday with another video. And guys, let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see that you can't find on YouTube. Let me know. I want to make that video for you. So, all right, guys. See you next Friday. Peace.